What's going on, money makers? It's Brandon Robinson, president of Calvary Realty Inc. Look us up on Google. We got five stars. Now, occasionally you may hear money gurus talking about, oh, get out of debt, don't buy things with debt, this, that, and the other. But unless you come from a background with a lot of money, you will need to go into debt to build wealth. What am I talking about? Well, in 2022, the average sales price of a home is 428,000, but the average salary is only $56,000. That doesn't pencil. If you're trying to save up enough money to buy a $428,000 home, making $56,000 per year, you're gonna be saving up for a long time. So unless you use debt, there are certain assets that you won't be able to acquire. Now, the problem is not debt itself. The problem is the type of debt that you have. For example, there's good debt, which is debt that makes you money, builds wealth, gives you passive income. And then there is debt that doesn't make you money, takes away from your wealth, takes money out of your bank account. Let's get into some examples of bad debt first. A couple of examples of bad debt include debt on consumer products, such as buying a bunch of jewelry, buying clothes, tennis shoes, new Jordans, a PlayStation. These are things that do not put money into your bank account. I'm, glad, I'm, 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 ha I'm happy that you guys find that funny because some of you guys have PlayStations and you pay, you put $500 onto your credit card. That's not an example of good debt, okay? Other types of bad debt include debt for special events such as weddings. I can't tell you guys how many weddings I've been to where people pay $20,000, $30,000, five years later, they're divorced. That is not a good investment, okay? Other examples include credit cards, car loans, unless you're using that car for Uber or business purposes, having a bunch of debt on cars, that's not an example of good debt. Personal loans, student loans, gambling debt, liens, taxes, past due bills, those are all examples of bad debt which take away from your wealth and lose you money. Now that we have some examples of bad debt, let's talk about some examples of good debt. First example would be your home. A lot of people may say, oh, well, your home is not an asset. That's BS because your home appreciates in value. Your home is something that you can borrow against, you can sell, you can pull equity from it to make investments into other areas. Another example is a mortgage on investment property. So if you have a million dollar mortgage on an investment property that is cash flowing you $200,000, $300,000 per year, that's an example of good debt. Another example of good debt is a business loan. You take out a couple hundred thousand dollars to fund your business, grow a business, that's putting cash flow in your pocket every month, that is good debt. Also, a vehicle loan, if you are in some type of transportation profession, such as you drive trucks, you drive for Uber, Lyft, or you're in some type of sales where you have to commute to various places. Uh, a loan to purchase assets such as stocks. Uh, I wish that I would have taken out a hundred thousand dollar loan in 2012 to buy Bitcoin when it was 12 bucks a share. I'd be a very rich man today. Educational loan if you're working in your field of study or credit cards with very low balances. The idea I want to convey to you is that debt is a neutral tool. It's neither bad nor good, but in the hands of the user, that will determine whether or not it's bad or good. For example, think of it as a hammer. I can use a hammer to hammer nails, build a house, or I could use a hammer to destroy somebody's property. It's not the hammer that's bad, it's the way that I use it that's bad. Same way with debt. You can use debt to build your wealth, you can use debt to take away from your wealth. So remember, there's good debt that makes you money and builds wealth, and there's bad debt that loses you money and takes away from your wealth. Use it wisely. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in buying or selling real estate, Calvary Realty would love to be of assistance. We have five stars on Google. Until next time, keep making money.